So Kevin put his search on, man. He found an old school Wilderness Systems Tarpon 16i in Indianola, Texas. He went and grabbed it for like 500 bucks. We're gonna run almost a mile and a half before we start fishing because we got speed. It's gonna be fast. Let's test her out, we say. Cruised all the way out to these barrier islands, these break walls. We're gonna hit some of this, uh, hit some of these rocks and stuff and then start fishing. The island's going back. And uh, we're just kind of waking up out here at these barrier islands. It's pretty neat, man. In some exotic country here just right off the bat. Birds are working. Tarpons, man, his tarpons fast. Just got waylaid. Woo, we in the exotic country, people. <laughs> man, that was a smash, huh? That's a top dog. What do they call it, a top pup? Dang, man, that was awesome. That was worth the trip alone right there, buddy. Yeah, big red. Woo, that was killer. That was worth the paddle right there, man. Just that blow up, man, he smashed it. We just paddled straight out to some exotic country these fast boats and got out and started walking. Man, how cool is that, dude? Top pup. Go. 1920, something like that. Put him back. All right. Let's let this guy go. Man, thank you for the blow up, sir. That was awesome. Man, we are out here. Ranzas Pass. We covered, we went straight out a mile and a quarter and then we started fishing. No fishing right at the truck today. We wanted to go some exotic spots. We're in a cut right here and uh, there's birds working. Boom, that just happened. Can't quite touch bottom, but I'm just shuffling with my push poles about three foot deep. Some new territory here. You gotta watch these ships, man. Look at this current. This is gushing in. That's sketchy as hell. Oh, ride the river, <laughs> ride the lightning. Kevin and I are trying some of these outer islands, but uh, the bull tides got them flooded out. Just don't feel right. We're gonna head back to these little cuts and passes and uh, stake out and do some more throwing and wait and see what we can find. I thought that was a trout, huh? Yep, trout. Good job, man. I think it's 16. Crab walked the spoil bank, spoil island out here. The wind pushing us right around it. Buddy. All I saw was massive and silver. I didn't know if he had a snook with the head shake or what was going on. And then it hit me. That's a f <laughs> trout. Holy sh Where's my head? <laughs> 
<laughs> just slide them right up in the grass. Yeah, just there you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> salmon that's a gator tater sorry for all the profanity honks guys but this trout this is the biggest trout I've ever seen in person guiding not guide anything from Mexico to Key West I've never seen one this big in person Kevin rightfully so was very interested in getting this fish released he did a quick measurement. It was flopping around. It was over 29. I think he might be in the Dirty 30 Club. I really do. She took a minute to revive, but he got her going. Congratulations, Kevin, on this lifetime speckled trout. Gator trout. Oh, man, what do you say to that? Awesome. Good job, man. Nice. Fantastic. Kevin's new tarp and 16 got him way back with the big ones. Lifetime fish. Congrats, Kevin. How cool is that? 29? He was almost in the Dirty 30 Club. The area was very fishy, so we just kept catching. Trout. Definitely a trout hole, huh? Looking like a snook for a second, the way he came up. Nice trout. We managed to catch a few more nice fish. This guy was probably 17, 19, somewhere in there. Real solid. So I was throwing a Strike King caffeine shad, KVD style and baby bass color. I absolutely love that plastic. Steering with the feet, we put our nose into the wind, went all the way out to the outer islands. Way out there, mile, mile and a half. And now we're just drifting back. The wind's picked up, maybe 15, 18, and it's just taking us straight back to the truck. Haven't hardly paddled at all. Kevin nor I are going to forget that trip for quite a while. Hey, if you want to go fishing with me, hit me up at 30milesout.com. All the information's there. And we'll see what we can't pull out the water around Rockport, Texas. Catch y'all later.